Hello, you are on channel Real Books, and today we'll talk about self-driving cars. Believe it or not, self-driving cars are not a recent invention despite the push to incorporate this technology into the modern vehicle. This new concept was first introduced in the Futurama exhibit at 1938 World's Fair in New York City. General Motors built a working car in 1958 after presenting an electric motor that was guided by radio-controlled electromagnetic fields. Self-driving cars, also known as drive fewer cars, are cars that don't require any human input to operate them safely. Now, the concept of driving a car safely or moving by itself has become a reality for quite some time. Drive fewer cars have automated radar system where a car senses the distance from the car in front of it. It automatically slows down or speeds up while observing the white lines of motorways. Moreover, many luxury cars nowadays are equipped with the auto park to assist where the car detects the parking spot without any human input. And it is a fact that self-driving cars will be the future of cars and mobility. To develop a better understanding, we have listed the pros and cons of self-driving cars. Here are some of the most cited advantages of self-driving cars. The first one that it will reduce the number of accidents. When you are driving a driverless car, then what happens on the road is no longer subject to bad behaviors than human drivers show as they are about to reach their destination. It has been observed that about 80% of the car crashes because of human error. If computers are in more control, then there will be only fewer road accidents. The second advantage is that they are more even at high speeds. As more people these days are shifting towards the use of self-driving cars, you can raise the speed limit on extended trips. The computers will take care of all the operations so the occupants remain safe. So automated cars even work effectively at high speed. The next advantage? Reduce commute times. Because driver fewer cars would likely communicate with other cars around it and on the roadway, it will know on its own where speed needs to be maximized. There is no doubt in the fact that this benefit will be limited by the already existing infrastructure in each city. Moreover, this would make the process easy for workers to commute every day. The next is lessen the consumption of fuel for transportation needs. Computers make it possible to reduce the consumption of fuel needs for trips in many ways. The concept of platooning helps vehicles to drop with one another to reduce the effort the engines need to work appropriately. Real-time updates will help drive fewer cars to avoid high traffic areas or places, having weather disruptions and any other potential hazards. These vehicles would likely communicate with one another while being on the roadway. This also ensures the safety of the people working the road. The next is help people become independent. Many people find driving to be an enjoyable exercise, while well, even if they are cuts them off or create the potential for an accident. In most of the cases, usually, the time spent while driving is not an amazing experience. So, people who hate the idea of driving will have spent most of their time in a car watching television, shopping online, or doing any other important work. Moreover, you can also place an order for groceries that you are going to pick up, so you will find the items ready before you reach your destination. The next is reduce the number of automobile thefts. We are already using biometric technologies that can recognize fingerprints and faces as passwords. This advanced technology can also be applied to self-driving cars, which only respond when programmed passengers enter into the car. Moreover, these kinds of automobiles are self-aware on some level thanks to the potential benefit, which means it refuses to start when someone tries to enter a car. An automated alarm system would also alert law enforcement agencies automatically when an individual would try to remove parts from the car. So you can easily access information on real time through your smartphone with views from anything like dance, alerts and crashes. Here we also have some disadvantages to self-driving cars. Place decision in the hands of the computer. 
there are times when decisions regarding automated cars are dependent on cars. What would self-driving cars do if they encounter an individual crossing the road? There are times when we are more comfortable with the human behind the wheel. We can also program this feature into computers. The next is collect a lot of personal information. If you are about to use your self-driving car for the trip, then computer would save the report. However, driverless cars also keep records about your destination, such as tours you like to visit, the restaurants you prefer for dining, or even how much you're willing to spend on snacks. This data would be a treasure for marketers who want to use it for personalized marketing. The next is loss of jobs in society. As self-driving cars approach the market, there is a threat faced in society for employment just like artificial intelligence causes in other countries. This technology would slowly put people who operate self-driving cars for living out of business. So anyone who drives a taxi delivers food or even give pickup and drop on Uber could be affected in negative ways. Drive fewer cars could even transport goods across the country without needing someone behind the wheel to guarantee their delivery. The next is don't jam traffic. You will see hundreds of vehicles on the road while using driverless suite. You will see hundreds of vehicles on the road while using driverless vehicles. Highways have the capacity of handling only a specific number of traffic. Hence, self-driving cars don't jam traffic in major metropolitan areas because of the number of people who are traveling. Access to the accurate mapping system. The success that currently experienced with self-driving cars technologies relies on updated GPS and mapping would direct the car where it is supposed to go. So what conclusion can be drawn? The pros and cons of self-driving cars show us that we still have a long way to grow with this technology. Recent advancements in the field of artificial technology provide us with the hope that it will become a reality one day. Self-driving cars are our future. That was all. Thanks for watching.